How's it going guys? Altus Tech here, and uh, first off, let me apologize for my complete lack of videos as of late. I've been extremely busy with school, it's just been taking up all my time, and I really haven't had any time to put anything out. Uh, that is about to change though, as a lot of free time is coming my way, so expect a lot more videos very soon. Anyway, to the main part of this uh, tutorial or video, uh, basically I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to do a basic render in Kirkithia. Now, Kirkithia is an awesome free rendering program for SketchUp. Uh, completely free, uh, and you can do some really cool uh, basic rendering stuff with it. So, uh, you know, it's free, so you really can't complain. Uh, so basically, what you need for this uh, process is the Kirkithia base program, of course, as well as the Kirkithia exporter, which is going to be a plug-in inside the SketchUp program ex itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I've just got a basic house model here, which I did a little bit ago. And basically what you want to do is just set the uh, angle of what you want your scene to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pick out what I think looks best. I think that should work. We're going to go into Plugins up here. Kirkithia Exporter, Export Model. And basically what you have to have selected, what you absolutely have to have selected is Geometry and Instances at the bottom there. Uh, the rest of it you can, like if you have lights that you want to import and stuff like that. But if you don't, just don't worry about it. Go ahead and press OK. And we're just going to save that as tut render. Okay. Save. It's going to save. Nope. Open up Kirkithia. File. Open. Should be around at the bottom. There we go. Okay. And there you have it. Uh, now, this kind of freaked me out the first time I saw it. I was like, oh, Dan, this program's going to be really hard to uh, learn. But trust me, it isn't. We can go ahead and make this more visually pleasing if we would like just by going to view adjust adjust solid rendering and now it looks a little bit more manageable okay so uh, first thing we want to do in Kirkithia is change the glass texture because the default glass texture from SketchUp just won't work really well uh, in Kirkithia so we're gonna go ahead and select our glass texture in the list here translucent glass blue right click on that and edit material now, here in the Reflectance category, we're going to go ahead and right-click on reflect Reflection. We're going to select Add Color. We're going to go into the RGB mode options, and we're just going to go ahead and type in the numbers here. Now, I found the optimum numbers would be 190, 190, and 190. Just like that. Accept. And now we're just going to go down here to Transmittance right click refraction add color again and for this one we're going to put 230 230 and again 230 okay accept apply changes and you can get out of this now nothing should have changed in the glass texture here in this view don't worry about that it will look a lot better in the rendering now we're going to go ahead and start our render we're going to start the cool stuff go up to here to this uh, icon start render now for this um, camera, just keep current view if that's fine. Resolution, uh, you can select your resolution. Settings, uh, we're going to go ahead and use ambient occlusion and I uh, recommend that as well for just for the best result possible. So I'm going to select that. Threads, now what you want for threads is basically double the amount of, process, uh, of uh, cores you have in your processor. So I have a dual core processor. So I'm going to select four threads. Okay, and for network, just uh, don't mess with that. Press OK, and the program is beginning to render. We can go ahead and uh, image, and this will just give us a uh, basically how our render is doing. So it's just going to render out. Uh, shouldn't take too long here, uh, but yeah, this is a fantastic program. Uh, Obviously, there are programs that, that are superior, uh, but they cost like a thousand dollars. So if you're on a budget like me, uh, this program works just as well. Well, actually, not just as well, but it works well for a free program. And I really uh, can't stress enough how easy it is to use. Um, now, th just just keep in mind that this is a very basic tutorial. I'm not teaching you like the uh, you know the the in-depth stuff, but I might come back to this a little bit later and uh, you know go through it a little bit 
more in depth so you guys can get like some really intense rendering going. Uh, but yeah, this is coming up pretty nicely. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the video here. I'm gonna come back once this render is done, and you guys can take a look how it turned out. So I'll see you in about five minutes. And we're back. The render has been completed, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, obviously, we could do a lot more to it, um, but that might take a little while because uh, you know I have to fiddle with a lot of textures and things like that. But yeah, for a basic rendering, I think this is great. Um, it just basically makes it look like kind of like real life uh, as best as it can. Uh, here you can change the exposure if you'd like, so I can make it really dark. Oh, really? Actually, the opposite of dark. Change the gamma. You can change a bunch of options. Dark. Make it dark. This isn't working for some reason. And you can change the brightness, of course, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, then you can go in, ahead and save your image as a JPEG, PDF, what have you. And uh, yeah, you can take it and uh, post it or whatever you want to do with it. So yeah, that's basically the basics of Krakithia. Really easy program to use for basic rendering. And it's free, so it's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, as always. Make sure to stay tuned for the videos that are upcoming. Uh, I'm planning a uh, Illustrator tutorial series, which is fantastic. Illustrator is great for vector-based graphics, which is really important graphic design, so all of you people who are into Photoshop and things like that should uh, stay tuned for that as well. Thank you for watching, guys, as always, and stay tuned for more.